How's it going, everyone? So I had this thought come about me, and I thought, well, what's going to happen I do this? So I soldered me together a couple alligator clips, and I thought, well, you know, maybe I can just center tap it to the uh, midpoint grounding of the primary circuit, so as it's a... Uh, uh, kind of doing its thing there. This has got the earth ground component. This has got the uh, transformer component. And as well, this here has the return path of the secondary input, the low side of the secondary stage transformer. So it's a really unique arrangement. And oh, if I didn't just knock that off. Are you kidding me? Ha, <laughs> give me a minute. Okay, we got them patched back together there. Let's hope it performs the same. <laughs> so I started it up, and holy smokes, man. <laughs> wow. So the the drive behind this was because I, I'm having an issue with that earth ground. So I thought, well, let's just try this. Right? So I had the thought. It came on me, and eh, there it is. All right, so let's give her a whirl and see what in the world's going on. Draws about one watt. These bulbs are even brighter now. Now that's cool. Yeah, it's pulling about one watt. And now if you want to look at this, this thing is hypercharging. Yeah, 102 volts, 3 volts. I guess just flying up there. And uh, that's just with the simple ground. There's 105 volts. 6, 7... And that says uh, 0.9 watts. I noticed I let the other outfit run for a while. And it did wiggle its way back down to 0 watts being consumed. Now this is really charging quick. And uh, I'm just guessing that you probably don't want to touch any of that. Those uh, neons are lighting up damn bright. And uh, if I unhook that, it's lighting up just like that one is. You'd never even think the thing was doing anything. Until you touch it, and then you damn quick learn that, holy shit, ouch. So again, big capacitor, there's 120 volts. We're running on 0.9 watts. And uh, we'll turn it off because, eh, we'll let it go, I guess, a little bit more. You can see the charge rate is not diminishing by any means. If I put a smaller capacitor there, this thing's going to scoot. So, and that's just, like I said, one chunk, one uh, piece of the coil. And there's no aluminum in here. You can see that other neon over there lit up. You can see the scope oh, off the 20 megahertz. And it's quite a distance away. And uh, so uh, where that in here is where that aluminum would go. And then we could uh, rectify off of that aluminum plate. Either to earth ground or two separate potentials on the aluminum plate. With a much higher amperage and much higher charging rate. But not to say that this isn't uh, damn fast, because would you just look at it? There's 140 volts. I don't know what more you, uh, you really want out of uh, one watt, but uh, she's scooting along. All right, guys. Uh -huh. There you go. We're almost at 150. I guess we'll wait it out. What the hell? You want to see 150? There's 150 right around the bend. Then we're going to shut this thing off because uh, I really need to build that 10 kV uh, cap and then get that SCR going on to one of these great big Tesla, 1.2 Tesla cores. And uh, there you go, there's 150 volts DC. So we're going to turn that off. And uh, one watt. Ciao.